Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome, my Cancer friends and friends of Cancer. This is the Divine Phoenix Rising Tarot. And hey, I'm Zachary. Thank you guys for joining me here and welcome to my table. So y'all, Cancer friends, thank you guys for being here and for your patience, especially. I know it's been a hot minute since you guys have had a collective Cancer reading. Um, I do also do all signs as a reminder, you guys, um, from time to time. So keep an eye out for those as well. Uh, but also as a reminder um, <clears throat> or heads up, if you didn't know, I do not run on a schedule and due to my own uh, personal reasons, especially health, I do not pump out readings like a machine, okay? <laughs> I know you guys are excited to get these readings and I love that. I just also would like to express that I do go off of a uh, schedule as far as when the divine is calling me to do a reading and when I do also have the energy to do that reading. So thank you guys so much for understanding and I, and I love you, okay? Um, so your meditation messages that came through here first, and then we'll move into the tarot as we do. So the first thing that came through in meditation was the image of uh, a baby dragon. And this baby dragon was cute as a button. <laughs> um, in meditating on this, sitting with this image, it evolved or grew older into an adult dragon. And it gave off this very like, mystical ancient magic kind of vibe as as a dragon does right so sitting with this message what came through was that even the most ancient magic at one point had a beginning there was a starting point to even what we consider to be the most ancient of magics right um and that can be whatever you consider ancient magic whether you're looking at wicca um uh druidism ayurveda Chinese, ancient Chinese um, medicine or magic, they all began at some point. So what I'm feeling with that is that there is a, a beginning that's happening here soon for you guys that has the ability or potential to evolve into a very powerful, solidified, stable magic, okay? Next, I was shown the rune uh, Ingus, which I'll show you here. I just wrote out real quick. Kind of sloppy, but here you go. This rune is um, a portal to the astral plane. <laughs> uh, reminds me, or kind of draws me back to the time travel reading that I did recently. If I remember, <laughs> I'll try to link it at the end of the video here so you guys can catch it. Um, but it feels like kind like stepping into a new timeline, which is what that reading was about. It also symbolizes health and wellness. Um, there's a form of protection with that as well. So I, I just feel like there are good things starting, okay? If there has been a period for you guys where you have been struggling with health, wealth, family, um, it just feels like there is a, a block that's lifting. You guys are evolving into your final form, okay? So I do feel called to pull an animal spirit oracle card for you. And then we'll move into the tarot. So what do we have here for Cancer, please? And this is the Animal Spirit Oracle, Wild Unknown. Wild Unknown. Shark. Shark comes through here. Speaking of ancient, <laughs> a shark is, um, well, a living dinosaur, right? They've been around forever. Let me, I do feel like reading this from the book here. Un momento, por favor. Oh, the shark has <laughs> shiny teeth, dear. So shark, directness, exposure, revealing true nature and desire. The shark is only dangerous when we don't acknowledge it. This card indicates that something big needs to be exposed. Mm. It's lurking in the depths and creating tension. Shark energy takes over us when we are hesitant to be honest, to be totally ourselves, or to say what we really want. It may be tempting to continue pretending nothing is wrong. But when shark energy is at play, we feel its presence encircling us. So when in balance, intriguing, captivating, and mysterious, when out of balance, sneaky, and destructive, to bring into balance honesty. Okay, so I feel, <clears throat> I kind of get this, um, not that it's a test, but maybe like a final hurdle here to move into this portal or this, this beginning stage of, of deep magic blossoming inside of you. There is a request, it's like the toll, I suppose, for this toll bridge, um, is to be honest, okay? 
I was just seeing like a, a wormhole there for a second is to be honest about something. Um, I, maybe that's why I felt called to, I have a lot of cancer, deep cancer energy in my chart too. Felt called to be honest about that in the beginning with you guys as well. I would love to pretend <clears throat> that I have an unlimited amount of energy to do this for you guys, but I, I tried that in the beginning and it is uh, only made me sick. So I love you, but I love myself more. <laughs> okay, so let's get into the tarot for you. Uh, actually, I am feeling drawn to pull a crow card first. Hold up, hold up. Additional messages here for Cancer. Ooh, community. Um, I'll show you this here. The roots on this tree is really standing out to me. Um, what I think about it just in the imagery of this card is, uh, I can't remember who was the original person to speak about it, but the different relationships in our life, right? Um, the different seasons. There are people who are leaves that blow this way and that, you know, there's not really anything of substance or weight that you can stand on, fair weather friends. And then you've got your branches relationships that are um, the, more steady or more strong, but when you do go to put weight on them, they break. So they can't really handle deeper things that are going on. And then we have two or three main roots in our tree of relationships. And those are our life force community. So I'm getting pulled to that idea. Uh, maybe you guys are going through something that is difficult or you're feeling alone, struggling with getting through on your own. I feel like this is a call with the shark and being honest too, to uh, reach out for help if you need help, to speak your peace, okay? Not in a combative way or to be antagonistic, but to choose you is what I'm getting, okay? All right, love you, Cancer. So moving into the tarot here for you, we're gonna do, um, oh my gosh. I don't know why I'm totally spacing on this name right now. Fortuna, of course, it's been a second since I pulled this out. The Fortuna deck, yes. Um, Welcome channel members, of course. Huge shout out. Thank you guys for your love and support. If you're interested in becoming a channel member yourself, there is a link in the description or you can click on the join button next to the subscribe. Hit the subscribe if you haven't already. And um, check out the description for additional links. I do have my website in there if you're interested in personal readings and I do have those open and available currently. Okay, check it out if you want. Check it out. So three of keys comes through here, and this is, was this on the bottom of this too, or did I shuffle it? Um, the second deck we're using is the Phantasm. I'll show you here in a second, but I, when I first picked up that deck, it had this card on the bottom too. Three of keys, or three of swords. So, my cancer friend, this is your hopes, hopes and uh, dreams here in this section. This is heartbreak, heart loss. I'm drawn back to that cancer reading um, where the tears will flow. Again, if you haven't seen that, I encourage you to go back and watch that too. It talks a lot about um, some really serious pain and hurt that's happened in the past, um, heartbreak and loss. So the hope here for you guys is to work through this, to heal this finally, to start taking out the, um, the object of penetration is what's coming through. Interesting. Okay. Let's keep moving forward here. So Phantasma deck here next. Spirit, what do we have for Cancer? My Cancer friends. And this is a general message, y'all. So please keep that in mind. Use your head, heart, and intuition to decipher which messages are for you. You are a powerful co-creator here as well. Please don't forget that. Um, check out your Rising Moon Venus and the other major placements in your chart if you're interested for additional components in your story. So Page of Pentacles at the bottom here. This is your fear version. Um, Page of Pentacles essentially is like something new, something new starting, something uh, taking something and making it better. So improving on it and in that way, making it new again. There is a component of studiousness to the Page of Pentacles as well. So fear and aversion, anxiety, I forgot to say that. 
Um, having that, I do feel like there is a little bit of apprehension, especially in combination with the three of keys there in moving through something, um, and taking those steps to heal. And I don't feel like it's that you don't want to heal. I don't, I mean, maybe the Ten of Swords will come through here, but I'm not really getting that vibe that there's an addiction to that pain. Some of you may be struggling with that. It feels more like you can feel this pull into this portal, into a new timeline where there is healing. Um, but there's a, it doesn't feel like a full on fear, but like an anxiety of what does that even look like? What does a, a healed cancer look like? What does my life look like if I don't have this heartbreak or this pain? <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. I think it's a wonderful world. All right. <laughs> a healed cancer. So in your general to start, magnum opus comes through and this card is in, is particular to this deck. Um, and I have heard you guys, you want to see the cards a little bit more, so I'll just cover up my face. That's totally fine. <laughs> uh, Magnum Opus is a reminder that, well, it's a reminder of your power, really, how much control you really do have in this illusion, <laughs> uh, being a powerful co-creator, like I said. This is your thoughts becoming things. So there's a request to <laughs> check yourself before you wreck yourself is what comes through. Um, thank you, Spirit. Make sure that you're paying attention to what is going on around you. And if that's something that's being reflected in your reality, it, that if it is not what you want, um, pay attention to the way that your thoughts are coming forward or what thoughts are coming forward. I'm not placing blame or shame on situations for people. What I'm saying is, um, especially from personal experience, I'm a human here too. I know how much power there is in what we think and how that reflects in what we see and participate in our life. Okay. Uh, there is chaos and things come through. I'm not saying whatever this three of swords or three of keys action is that you're wanting to heal from is your fault in any way. Um, what I am saying is it is your responsibility and what you're doing after the fact, right? Right. Yes. <laughs> also from very personal experience, I, I know how difficult that can be, but I also know how rewarding it is. Okay. So, uh, the world, yay. <laughs> the world comes through here next to clarify Magnum Opus. I feel like, so world is a, a major ending, a major cycle ending, uh, in this cycle ending, essentially you're, you're going through all of the major arcana. And when you come to the world, you're crossing this threshold into a new world, this portal, okay? Um, but you are a badass in this world because you have learned so many things. You've picked up a new magical ability. The, um, oh, and it's a dragon too. I didn't even... <laughs> Oh my goodness. I was just thinking, Spirit just kept saying, look at the card, look at the card. It's a dragon, you guys. So I was just going to talk about ancient magic. In uh, most other cards, oh my goodness, in most other cards, it is like a, a sorcerer or a sorceress, sorcerer them, that is coming through this portal and they have two wands. One wand is one that they've acquired from the magician and the other is one that they have, have produced on their own. So it symbolizes it's like this deep ancient magic. As they are completing a cycle, they are stepping into a new beginning with this deep magic that they have earned, that they fought hard for. I love this, you guys. I feel like you're stepping into a whole new world. A whole new world. <laughs> with the shark, sharks coming through here again too with the honesty. I feel like this is the part... Um, that may be tripping some of you up in getting through the world's portal here is being honest with yourself about your thoughts. What part are you playing in your own reality? Okay. Again, not blame or shame. Just, uh, I, I want to help you guys, y'all. <laughs> I've been through a lot of really rough shit too. And if I could save everybody, I would, but I also know that's not possible. So I feel like this is the next best thing, right? <laughs> Free counseling. I'm not a counselor, but it is a form of counseling, I suppose. Okay, so good stuff for you here in this in this season, in this period. You have Prince of Candles. So Prince of Candles is um, Knight of Wands. Um, the good the good stuff here, your good sauce, is getting back up and trying again. Maybe 
Maybe you have attempted to work through some trauma, some pain, stormy emotions here in the past and found that you're struggling to really get through it. What I'm feeling in this period is you are that dragon magic. You are fully supported. Those roots coming through here too, tapping into your community here that are your roots, but also your roots out here. Um, in doing so, you are you're taking advantage of the support to get up and ride this horse again, off into the sunset finally, to more passion, to more uh, creativity, exploring and expressing your heart, which cancer, my God, I mean, you guys, your heart, <laughs> you are my heart. <laughs> okay, I do love you, I love you, love you. So nine of pentacles comes through here too, yay, and your good stuff. 1555 on the timer, 555, five, five, major change, you guys. Nine of Pentacles here is, uh, I see this like you're radiating like the sun. That crowning glory, your crowning glory. Nine of Pentacles is your personal abundance. A glow up, if you will. <laughs> I know I will. <laughs> I will for you if you don't want to. Um, having that ability to get back up and, and try again to really get through this portal finally using honesty as your uh, other or your wand, right? Um, you guys are finally taking things to a level where even I just feel like other people notice how you glow. Yay. <laughs> finally, cancer. Yes, yes, yes. Love to deliver this. What an exciting message. <laughs> um, so what you don't see coming, what you don't see coming or what's in the dark here? Oh, no. <laughs> so you have six of candles. Um, I'm being facetious. Six of candles is six of wands, <clears throat> which is a victory, you guys. It is being celebrated for surviving, for championing through the battle, through the war. Coming back home, um, being celebrated for that and being appreciated for what it is that you've been through for what it is that you um, have gained as far as knowledge, as far as magical ability here, even. I feel like ancient this ancient magic that I was talking about in the beginning is really connected to um, like deep wisdom, deep wisdom that is only accessible through the heart. Uh, this seems like a really big moment for you guys. I'm really excited, actually. And like I said, I've got, I've got a lot of cancer depth in my chart too. So I'm happy, happy, happy to bring this message forward. The sun is rising is what I'm hearing. The dawn, the dawn, uh, I think it might have been you guys a while ago. It was um, a song I had mentioned, Charlotte Church and Billy Gilman. Um, it's called, I think it's called Elysium. But there's a line in there where they say, um, dawn will be kind, all will be bright lonely shadow rise from the darkness. I feel like you guys are rising from the darkness. I'm getting these chills on this and I'm going to get emotional now too. I'm happy to bring that message forward because you guys deserve this. My goodness. <laughs> Five of swords comes through here next. What I get from this is, especially in combination with the Six of Wands, this victory, Five of Swords is um, fighting for fighting's sake. It is a hollow victory. Nobody winning because there's no, there's no um, pursuit of understanding. It is just for the sake of fighting. What I'm getting with the Six of Candles as well is that this is what is being moved away from. Whatever's happened with the Three of Swords, um, I know has been painful. And I know that there's been a struggle too. And I know there's varying degrees of where everyone's at as far as healing. Some of you are maybe a little bit further along that path than others. Um, not that it's a competition, like the Five of Swords says. Again, I'm brought back to that line I just said. Dawn is coming. I just feel like this isn't... Um, this is an energy that, that gets to leave. I'm sorry, excuse me. I 
you deserve this, okay? Um, whatever it is that the shark is talking about, as far as honesty goes, I call in strength and bravery for you guys, okay? I want you to, I want you so bad to take this step. God, cancer, my goodness. Stop making me cry. <laughs> <sighs> All right. <clears throat> so your challenge here right now, your obstacle, and this makes sense too. You guys have the magician. So having the magician and the magnum opus, I feel like is only fair <laughs> in talking about this deep magic. I feel like finally stepping through this portal and healing this component gives you um, access to your true magical ability, or at least illuminates for you just how powerful you are. Which is very powerful. <laughs> A whole hell of an axe, a lot of lot of power. Okay, you guys? <laughs> um, but the magician is the will to create. The obstacle component of this, I feel like, is, especially for some of you, like I said, varying degrees of where everyone is on this journey, some of you may especially be feeling beaten down. And it's the will to create, the will to manifest that's coming through here that is the difficult component. There is a request to the last hoorah is what's coming through here to really dig deep, to find that energy, to pull yourself out of the hat is what I'm seeing. Interesting. You won't, you won't regret it. <laughs> this is why I wait on cancer readings. <laughs> oh my God, you guys. Ugh, I have been breaking out in these like <laughs> hives around my eyes too from crying. So stop it. <laughs> High priestess comes through here as the next component for your obstacle. So this is um, your subconscious realm. This is speaking of deep magic as well. This is the, the um, veiled portions of Isis or Venus, Venus the divine feminine. The unconscious realm is where the magician taps in for creation. The unconscious realm where the divine feminine, the shadow rules, is where things grow. It is fertile AF. That realm must be impregnated, <laughs> fertilized by the conscious realm, by the masculine realm. What I'm feeling here is that that is the obstacle, just like the, the magician is talking about. There is a need to dig deep to find your strength to impregnate <laughs> the unconscious realm here. But once you do, again, I just feel you will not be sorry. This will not be something that you look back on and go, um, gosh, I wish I didn't do that or I wish I waited longer. It's all going to... All will be, all will be bright. There is a need to um, believe that until you know that. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> okay, I feel like I do want to, an oracle card here to close this out, and then we'll move into extended reading for you guys. Which deck do you want, Spirit? Blue Angel Oracle. Why not? Seems fitting. I haven't cried in one of these for a minute, and I swear, you guys, this is, this is you. <laughs> that was my cancer, too. I don't know. It's relieving to cry. What do we have here for cancer, please, spirit? My cancer friends. Ancient of days. <laughs> Speaking of ancient magic, I love this. Ancient of days here. So I'm going to read this from the book. Too funny. I'm so happy with this reading, you guys. So, so happy. So ancient of days. The eternal flame. You are the creative expression of the life force that flows through you. 
Thus, you are full of endless possibility. Listen to the infinite wisdom of your soul, for it will guide you to creations of love and light. Feel the flame aglow in your heart. This flame is your intuitive wisdom. <laughs> this deep wisdom. Let it burn through all illusions and obstacles so your path may be clear and bright. <laughs> Observe your breath. It will lead you to the golden temple deep within you. Enjoy or enter the majestic glory that is authentically you and enjoy it. Feel yourself reborn with each new breath as you connect with the timeless love and potential you hold. Go forth and live your potential. All is possible for you now. Ugh. I have all of the chills on that. You guys, oh, I love you so much. Go forth and be bright, okay? Um, Cancer, if this is where I leave you, thank you guys so much for joining me. I truly love you so much. <laughs> um, if you want to join me for the extended, links are in the description there. Uh, don't feel that you're missing anything if you don't, but um, <clears throat> we do go into messages from your higher self, love and career, and what is most likely being manifested for you currently. I am excited to dive a little bit deeper into this. Uh, but if this is where I leave you, good luck, you guys. You don't need luck, but I wish you bravery and strength. Like I said, you can do this. Uh, personal readings are available if you want to check that out. I do have my Cash App and PayPal links in the description. If you feel called to donate to the channel, I truly appreciate those that do support the channel in that way. It goes a long way. Thank you, thank you. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you want alerts on when I do have new videos. And until next time, you guys, please um, be well and treat yourself with love and, and care, okay? Take care.